the Oscar-nominated motion picture, Nebraska, a breakthrough debut for hometown screenwriter Bob Nelson. Now comes his next big screen film. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad, where are you going? I'm going to get my money. What now? Where are you going to go to get this money? Where I bought this pull tab. I'm getting 20 bucks. I won. Dad, that's not even a winner. You have to have a line through it. That the pot of gold doesn't mean you won. That's what you say. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad, this is a freeway entrance. We can't walk here, OK? There, there's nothing in Tukwila anyways. I'm going to the mall. That South Center, it's different. They got a Tommy Bahamas there and that Rainforest Cafe. You'd think those animals were real. <laughs> so, uh, what you gonna do now? I'm hitting the road again. Oh, come on, Dad. Look, you went all the way to Tuck Willow. The only thing you found there was a family fun center. Yeah, well, this time it's a sure thing. I got an email this morning from a prince in Africa. <laughs> I got millions waiting for me. The 206 with John Keister, Pat Cashman, and Chris Cashman. Now from Fremont Studios in Seattle, it's the 206. Welcome to the 206, same name, same guys, new show, and what, yeah, what are you doing? What is that? Oh, yeah, don't you watch uh, big time TV? All the stars that come on talk shows, they're always doing yeah, this I've now. Seen it. It's, oh. uh, they have their hands clasped in prayer and just so humbled by the ovation. Yeah. No, I noticed that on the, yeah, on the talk shows, people doing that. It's, it's kind of stupid. It yeah, well, stupid. I mean, I get it. I've seen the cooler than cool guys do it, but what does that have to do with you? Uh, you know what, I might have to ask you to move out of the basement and find a place of your own. That's more well, like it. OK, maybe, you know, the secret to doing a TV show is just to do it yourself and not, you know, get all chippy and cop and attitude with each other, you know? Just give it a shot. I get it. Look, that sounds fine, but who can do a TV show all by themselves these days? Yeah. Well, one local guy, you know, has pulled it off pretty well. It all started with a you know, local show in town on Channel 9, and today he's the host of the immensely popular PBS uh, TV travel show, uh, Rick Steves Europe. Yes. You know Rick Steves yeah, Europe? Know. No, take a look. OK, wait, no, uh, no. We have a rare, a very rare Rick Steves blooper. Take, take a look. This is real. This is what happened. We're relaxed and getting all cleaned up for a Turkish experience in Istanbul. Oh, I love this. Oh, Jamal, you're good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick Steves, back with more of the best of Europe. This time, we're relaxed and getting all cleaned up for a Turkish experience in Istanbul. Yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? He's here with us tonight, Rick Steves. Oh, yeah. Rick Steves. Yeah. See, I told you. I told you cool people were doing that. All right. Go. Rick, uh, what a treat to have you on the show. I know you travel a lot, so for you to carve out time like this is really cool. Well, thanks. You know, and it's uh, not very often that I make a guest appearance on shows I've never seen or, or even... <laughs> or even heard of, but uh, your producer waved a lot of money in my face, so I, I gave in. Well, he gave you some money? No, he waved it in my face. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. they do that, yeah. You know that. what, speaking of that, uh, you've been so successful, so iconic, being the host of a hot national show. We were hoping that maybe you could help us grow our show. Yeah, I'd be glad to. You know, it's, it's really quite simple. You need pledge breaks. Ple wait, ple <laughs> pledge breaks for the 206? Yeah, why not? I mean, they're not that, you know, your show and my show, they're not that much different. Uh, Except that my show, Rick Steves Europe, which airs nightly on public broadcasting, right, right. is uh, it's, it's for people who thrill in the adventure of traveling to exciting destinations. And your show is for people who don't. Yeah. Now, how would this pledge break thing work exactly? Well, 
I'll show you. Okay. If you want to really enjoy wonderful programming you see each week right here on, what's the name of the show? The 206. Yeah, 206. Oh, yeah. The 206. Then this is the time to go to your phone, get off your good intentions, and make that call. <laughs> make that choice. Wait, so you've got people answering the phones in our studio? Yeah, sure. A, a good phone bank. I never leave home without one. Wow, that's, that's pretty so, handy. Come on now. I've never been, it's, it's just never been more important to make this show strong with your financial support. This is your golden opportunity to celebrate and support really, really late night television. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we like to think that we're really, really early yeah. television. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's charming. And uh, if you call now, <laughs> If you call now at one of our member levels, we'll offer you some wonderful thank you gifts. Ooh, tchotchkes. You know what? This might just work. Yeah. Might work. Well, watch this. If there's anybody at all watching, I can make those phones ring. All right. If you pledge tonight at the $6 level, that's just 50 cents a month. That's less than two pennies a day. We'd like to reward you with the complete video set of Renton Abbey. It's a tacky knockoff. It's a tacky, tacky knockoff of the exquisite PBS masterpiece Downton Abbey. Well, no, I mean, actually, I think Downton Abbey ripped <laughs> us off. Yeah, the way I think. Okay, okay. And at the $9 level, you'll also get Breaking Ballard, the complete series, <laughs> along with a souvenir hazmat suit and assorted cookware. Whoa, oh, I'd pay nine bucks for that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And if you call it the top level, that's just $10.95, you'll receive all those videos. That's nearly seven minutes, plus the best. <laughs> Plus, you'll get the very best of Keister's 411. Yes, you'll get all three jokes. Woo! All three? <laughs> you okay with that? All right, that's pretty generous. Wow. And, and there's more. If you call right now, we'll also include the 206 Outtakes Reel. These are all the bits from the show that didn't work. Didn't cut it, really stunk. That's an additional 47 hours of video. Oh, that's, that's sweet. That's good. So that's come good. on, let's get those phones ringing. Tell this station that this is the kind of programming right here on... The 206. Yeah, right, the 206 that matters to you. If you appreciate the 206 as much as I do and the impact it's had on your life, you'll call in right now. Come on, this show is part of the fabric of our democracy. It's the one oasis on the media landscape that respects your funny bone, doesn't care about offending people, and shines a light on unheard of and underemployed local talent. If you care about that, you'll call right now. Look, if, look, 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 if anybody out there is watching, call now and I'll take you to Europe. For free! For free with me! <laughs> no calls. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you sure that yeah, the correct that, number that uh, we... Yeah, you got that right. This number works everywhere. This is the right number. Oh. Jeez, you guys, I, I'm afraid that's all I can do. I, I don't know. There's I don't, just no help. I don't know what we're going to do with these tote bags, but uh, thanks to Rick Steves, everybody. Right. Rick Steves. We'll be right back. The 206, brought to you by TiVo and the new TiVo Romeo. Start events, Ski Magazine National Shop of the Year, Drop Cam, and by Pemco Insurance. We're a lot like you, a little different. Hey, thanks for having us back. We've got another great idea. Yeah, now everybody knows that Pemco is a lot like you. Yes, but a little different. Right. So why not rework your slogan? Like, Pemco, we're different, a lot like you, a little. It's just one idea. Or uh, how about Pemco, a little like you, a lot different. Maybe Pemco, a little different, like you, a lot. Or how about we just leave your slogan the way it is? That's interesting. You like that? Yeah. yeah, we thought of that. Kevin, we're home. Hi, Mom and Dad. How was your weekend? Did you do anything exciting? <laughs> no, I wish. Did you go to a movie? <laughs> oh, I hope you had some fun. <laughs> it was all NBC for me. Nothing but calculus. I, I get it. Nothing but calculus. LOL. <laughs> Nothing but calculus? What? Hello, my spirit friends. I am Felicity Fern, 
personal assistant to Guru Deepak Jenkins. Please turn off your cell phones and no flash photography. Now may I introduce my master, Guru Deepak Jenkins. was a doozy, as you say. Let us all now resume, my friends. The path to love and understanding and tolerance is not a difficult path. Or you took a photograph. Hmm. Could you bring the camera here, please? It's very nice, looks expensive. <laughs> and so my friends, the path to tranquility, love and harmony is a well-traveled path and in order to Oh, <laughs> hello. Don't, don't. You can kiss mine. That's who's going to be doing the kissing. You. Yes. Goodbye. It was a wrong number. <laughs> and so, my friends. We cannot let the distractions and the irritations of life take us from the path. I have just been informed that someone in this room did not pay the $129.99 that was suggested at the door. If each of you would drop an additional $20 into this basket, it will make up for that cash donation which we lost. And look away, don't want to embarrass you. Feel free to give more than that amount if you would like. And I thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> How will we ever be able to bring love, understanding, and kindness into the world when it is populated by a bunch of jackasses and jerks? I know not, my master. Oh, well, I'm over it. How much did you get? Not mm -hmm. bad. Chris here behind the scenes. In fact, this is where I edit a lot of the show, and that's why I love having Drop Cam as a sponsor. This is the Drop Cam. It's keeping an eye on things because you just never know who's going to come around, try to steal your stuff. I know my daughters are always trying to steal my stuff, so go ahead, grab your candy, go eat it in, in your room, and wait, what are you doing away? Thanks, Drop Cam. Somewhere, there's a line between optimism and just plain crazy. Between, hey, the sun might come out, and, hey, that might be frostbite. But around here, that line can be a little cloudy. Goose bumped beach bum, you're one of us. And you deserve a better kind of insurance company. A Northwest company that'll never leave you out in the cold. Pamco. We're a lot like you, a little different.
Sturdivants.com. Huh? Huh? Oh, he's with us. Now you're having a flashback there. That was one of the YouTube moments. Crazed fans attack. Hi, this is John Keister from the 206. And this is the 411. Well, a 65-foot crack has been discovered in a Columbia River dam. Now, this is not to be confused with a similar story about 65 feet of crack being discovered in a Spanaway trailer park. <laughs> Seattle grade school students got uh, to handle actual preserved human brains during a recent educational event called Brain Awareness Week. It's good that the students were able to actually make a connection with brains since that will stop completely when they turn 13. <laughs> a local business group has proposed building a modest gondola system that will take uh, passengers from the convention center to the Seattle waterfront. If state transportation officials have their way, the project will cost $8 billion and will never be completed. <laughs> validation. That's what we like, validation. Seattle finished third on the list of most physically fit cities in the United States. Portland came in first, and Seattle was, Seattle was narrowly edged out by San Francisco, probably because we, we did too much drinking and partying after the Super Bowl. Wait. <laughs> That, that was a surprise. All right, Starbucks and Oprah Winfrey are teaming up to make a new Starbucks drink called Oprah Chai. The new tea will be served in three different sizes that will constantly change weight from day to day. Okay. As ex-Governor Gary Locke left his post as the United States Ambassador to China, the official Chinese news agency referred to him as a banana. Locke, a former Franklin High School graduate, responded, I got your banana right here. <laughs> the US State Department expressed shock over the comment, mainly because it was the only Gary Locke joke on record that didn't make fun of his Lego man haircut. Meanwhile, the Seattle Highway 99 tunnel project remains in limbo with the giant boring drill Big Bertha not expected to be running again until at least September. Here is the latest news. Well, I am here in the tunnel, which I would describe as tunnel-like. <laughs> We're going to try and talk to the man in charge of the digging operation here, Mr. Um... I'd rather you not give out my name. I don't want a bunch of phone calls and these snotty tweets. Forget it. All right, very well. But you are the project manager, correct? Absolutely, yeah. But you know what? I uh, don't have a lot of time to talk to you right now. We're pretty busy down there. You're busy. Uh, yeah, we are swamped. Whew. But isn't the, the boring machine Big Bertha broken and not even operating right now? Well, uh, at the moment, yes. But look, hey, it's not like I didn't try a bunch of stuff, OK? I smacked her on the side with a hammer, a ball peen very hard, yep. nothing. I put some WD-40 on her, duct tape, Gorilla Glue, hemorrhoid cream, nothing, all right? What do you want from me? Okay. Just one guy. Uh, yeah, I, I think I heard on the news, though, that the problem is leaky seals. Right, in fact, leaky seals, that's the same thing that closed down the Seattle Aquarium a few years ago. That's Carl's joke. Carl, I used it. I used it. Good job, Carl. My understanding is that the name Big Bertha came from the first name of Seattle's first and only female mayor from the 1920s, Bertha Landis. Well, yeah, but look, for the record, I was against that the whole time. I thought Mayor Greg Nichols was a lot bigger. We should have used his name. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Well, so far, the two-mile tunnel digging project has progressed a little over 1,000 feet. Is that right? Yeah, well, actually, uh, we haven't measured it. <laughs> I mean, have you? Well, no, but how long do you think it will be before the tunnel is finished, and how long will the tunnel be at that time? It's going to be about two miles. So at this point, we've got a, right around 9,000 feet to go. We're feeling pretty good, just a little behind schedule. Uh-huh. You uh, mentioned a moment ago that you're quite busy right now. Yes, it is crazy back there. I mean, there's so much going on, it's nuts, so I gotta get back to it, as a matter of fact. Okay, but with the drill not operating, not digging, not moving, not doing anything at all in the tunnel, why are you so busy? 
Oh, I get it. Oh, you got me. Okay, Jesse, you're one of those gotcha reporters. Is that what it is? You think we're standing around down here scratching ourselves like we're ripping off the taxpayers, just screwing around down here. Is that what you think? We like it down here? Well, what are you doing? <sighs> Look, actually, I was about to take a much-needed break, but I suppose that's not okay with you, right? Look, I don't mean to be rude. I was just curious. It's my job. Okay, you know what? All right. You want to know what we're really doing down here? Yep. You want to know? You sure? Yep. All right, here's the deal. Until we get Big Bertha up and running again, uh -huh. we're continuing the digging down here by hand with a crew from the federal prison, OK? Oh. <laughs> if you don't mind, I got to keep my eye on these guys. In fact, we made six inches last week alone. Good. Okay? Get back to it. Hey, put it down. Drop him. That is the latest from the Tunnel Project. Someday your masterpiece will burn, piece by crackling piece. But for now, it stands a monument to sufficiency and pluck, held together only by ingenuity and gravity. Flawless firewood stacker, you are one of us. And you deserve a sturdier kind of insurance company, a Northwest company that's always at the ready and within reach. Pemco, we're a lot like you, a little different. Hi, Mom and Dad. How was your weekend? Did you do anything exciting? <laughs> no, I wish. Did you go to a movie? <laughs> oh, I hope you had some fun. <laughs> it was all NBC for me. Nothing but calculus. <laughs> I, I get it. Nothing but calculus. LOL. <laughs> calculus! <laughs> Nothing but calculus? What? <laughs> The 206, brought to you by Pemco. We're a lot like you, a little different. Sturdivants, Ski Magazine National Shop of the Year, Drop Cam, and by TiVo and the new TiVo Romeo. Hi, I'm Brad Bruding. Coming up on the next Northwest Side Roads, I'll take you deep inside this stretch of ancient evergreen forest, an area so remote much of it is uncharted. Yo, in yo, fact, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 who are you? What is this? Nothing doing up here. I, who I'm are you? Sorry. What is this? I, are you here to take my weed? Is that what you're here for? I didn't know you had weed, sir. You didn't know? I got miles of it. Can't you see? You didn't know? Perfectly you know legal. I heard that before? I don't have wait, any problems. Wait, you're not, that's not what you're here for? No. It looks like you are. I promise what you. What you got? Whoa, whoa, what's this? What? What's going on here? This looks like a, it's a wire. It's it's a microphone. Said, hey, hey, guys, we got a wire here. Just a microphone. We got a guy with a wire. We got a guy with a wire. Hey. Please. Hey, listen up. If you're in the bushes and you want to come get your boy, I wish you would try. I wish you would try right now. Come get him. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. This guy's not leaving. He's not leaving. I got a machete and it's thirsty. It's been a while. It's oh, please, ready to go. Please, there's no team. Look, Just me. You want to get off this hill? Yes. Strip down right now. What? All of it. I got to see what else you've got on. Strip right now. All of it. All of it. And you better hustle. Well, that's about it. Big thanks to Rick Steves. Rick Steves! Thank you. Good night, everybody. The 206 is recorded before a live studio audience at Fremont Studios. Plan your next event in Fremont. Go to FremontStudios.com. Guests of the 206 stay at the Mayflower Park Hotel in the heart of downtown Seattle. Find your best rates at MayflowerPark.com. Promotional consideration provided by Tutabella with convenient locations in the 206 and the 425. By Cadence Winery, voted Seattle Magazine Winemaker of the Year. And by Two Beers Brewing Company, because life is just a little more honest after two beers.